Saffron has been transported, traded and cultivated for thousands of years. It's a spice that comes from the stigma of the crocus flower and can be used as a dye in the textile industry, as a natural yellow food colouring or simply for seasoning. The stigma are hand-picked and dried for more than 12 hours. Its beautiful bright yellow hue can be described as a little piece of sunshine with a honey-sweet aroma, and it's possible that this has led to it being the most expensive and costly spice of today. Saffron is thought to have originally come from Iran, which is still the leading producer, with Afghanistan, Greece, Morocco and Spain also contributing to global distribution. It doesn't fare well in the shade, but thrives happily in sunny climates. It's often been compared to turmeric, however, both have great qualities and healing benefits and are equally amazing in their own right. Saffron is a good source of manganese and vitamin A, and early studies have shown that it supports memory function and learning, which helps to delay the effects of Alzheimer's disease. It's also great for rejuvenating our skin and helping our eyes to combat glaucoma and macular degeneration. Saffron is a natural aphrodisiac, with studies showing it increases testosterone and libido levels in rats, but studies still need to be carried out on humans. Saffron has a very uplifting quality, being an antidepressant, and helps to regulate mood swings as well as lower blood pressure. It was used in ancient Greece to combat depression, anxiety and low moods, and it can also help with menstrual disorders, PMS, cramps and bloating. Saffron is very popular in Middle Eastern cuisine and is also used in confectionery for sweets and desserts, and even liqueurs and teas. It's perfect for colouring rice and giving it that vibrant yellow tinge, which makes it an ideal choice for paellas and risottos. The famous French recipe bouillabaisse contains saffron too. Don't be put off by the price because you don't need much to see, taste and feel the benefits. In this case, less is definitely more 